What's up, PassFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a dumbbell arms workout. The only equipment required for today's routine is a pair of dumbbells. And you can adjust the difficulty of today's workout by either increasing or decreasing the weight that you use. If you're ready to go, let's pump it up. All right, let's get this workout started with a superset. We're gonna yes. go back and forth between our biceps and then our triceps. First move is a bent over monkey curl. We're gonna need two dumbbells for this one. And we're gonna perform it for 12 repetitions in total. Feet your shoulder width apart. Once you to put your weight back in your hips, hinge at those hips, keep that back straight, arms hanging down. And now only bending at the elbows. Let's bring those dumbbells up and control the way down, 12 repetitions. That's one, all the way up, all the way down, controlling both ends of that move. Keep that back straight, weight in your hips throughout. And one of the main reasons why we're performing this curl from this bent over position is it really eliminates any momentum or our ability to, to swing those dumbbells up forces us to do a much more controlled curl. That's number eight. So only those biceps are working. Come on, let's go three more. Head in line with your spine. So your head shouldn't be up while doing it. That's number 11, one more. Last one. And 12, excellent. Okay, so as I said, we're gonna go back and forth. Between, that was a biceps move. Now, time for the triceps. I'm adjusting my weight because my triceps are a little weaker. Feel free to do so if you need to. We're gonna do an overhead dumbbell tricep extension. So two dumbbells. We're gonna start bringing those dumbbells up to our ears, press them overhead, and there's our starting position. Keeping those elbows in, control the descent, and back up for 12. That's one. All the way up, all the way down. Try your best to keep those elbows in. Don't allow them to flare too far out. Keep them up towards the sky. And if at any time throughout today's workout, you need to increase or decrease your weight, please feel free to do so. Some moves may be easier for you. Some may be harder. Just gonna encourage you to adjust it to a weight that's challenging for you, but still uh, you're able to use proper form. Last one right here. Here's 12. All right, and then back down. Ooh. Okay, so that was one of each. We're going to do this superset two times through. Shake those arms out. Shaking them, shaking them loose. So we're going to go back to that bent over monkey curl for 12 repetitions. Feet shoulder width apart. While those triceps are resting, biceps are going to work. Arms hanging down, and let's begin. All the way up all the way down. And I want you to focus on that lowering phase of the move just as much as the raising phase. So that means control that descent. Don't just allow those dumbbells to flop down. Of course, that would be a lot easier, but instead staying under control. That's seven. Focusing on that time under tension. Excellent job. Keep breathing throughout. Here's 10. Inhale on the way down and exhale as you bring those dumbbells up to your shoulders. Here you go, last one and 12. All right, biceps are gonna break here. Shake those arms loose. Back into that overhead tricep extension for another 12 repetitions. Start with those dumbbells by your ears. Press overhead and let's go. Control that lowering face, just like we did on the curl. 
Again, it would be easier to just allow them to flop down, but we're not here looking for easy. We're here looking for results. One repetition into the next. That's halfway. Getting stronger, rep by rep. Woo, and I'm starting to feel that burn too. Burn so good, almost there, Try Two more. Last one. Excellent work. All right, next up, we have another bicep to tricep superset, but this time we're gonna do it with a one, three tempo. So I'm gonna show you what that means. We're gonna grab some dumbbells for a reverse curl. And choose your dumbbells wisely with that in mind. Yeah, so a slower tempo usually means we're gonna use lighter weight. So elbows are in, palms are facing us, keeping those elbows in, wrists are locked in and straight. We're gonna curl up for one second, reverse curl, and then one, two, three, slow on the way down. So 10 repetitions like that. Let's begin. One on the way up. One, two, three on the way down. Again, repeat. One, one, two, three. Again, staying under control throughout the whole movement. Keep your wrists locked. Don't get what I like to call spaghetti wrists, but instead keep those hands and wrists in line with your forearms. Elbows stay in on this one. Don't allow them to flare out. This one's not only gonna work your biceps, but as you're probably noticing, also your forearms and your grip as well. This is number seven right here. They are all connected. Excellent job. And as we get into these, it, Comes a lot easier to want to speed things up, but just keep that three second on the way down. This is last your last one. one. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Excellent. Ooh. Okay. Feeling those biceps. Yep. Now let's move to the triceps. Okay. We're going to use that same one three tempo technique, but now we're going to do a pronate tricep kickback. So let's go ahead and bend over on a 45. Palms are facing forward. Your first move is gonna bring those elbows up and so your upper arm is parallel to the floor. Now we're gonna kick back, tricep extend back for one second, one, and then one, two, three. Again, one, one, two, three. Ten in total. One, one thousand. One, two, three. And it's all in that elbow joint. So don't allow the rest of the arm to take over. Not swinging to get it up there. Not allowing the dumbbells to flop back down. It's a tough one. That's what we said. If, it, if you feel the need to swing, you have too heavy of a weight. Yep, don't be afraid to decrease the weight use if you need to. Here's number eight. Almost there. Fighting through a tribe. We're fighting with you. Woo. Burn so good. Last one. Extend and return. Okay, that's one down of each of those. I'm gonna get a good little arm shake here. Especially after that first superset. As we prepare for the next one. So we're gonna go through this one more time. If you need to adjust your weight, we uh, encourage you to do so. Either that's increasing right. or decreasing the weight used. Okay, right back into it now. So we're moving into that. Reverse curl with the 1-3 tempo, elbows are in. And let's begin, one 1,000. One, two, three, and repeat. 10 in total. So as the intensity of this workout picks up and it gets harder, it's gonna be just that much more important that you remind yourself what it is that brought you here today to begin with. Start focusing on those goals whether you want bigger, stronger arms, you're just trying to get more fit, lose weight, become more athletic, whatever it may be, we encourage you to focus on that why. Here's number seven. Throughout today's routine, because that why is gonna be what gets you through this whole routine without quitting, without giving up. Come on, let's go. Almost there, almost there. Here's number nine, we have one more after this. Ooh, burn so good, Tribe. Let's do it. Whew. Holding tough. Excellent. Nice. Okay, one more, Claudia. 
I got it. You I ready can do for this? It. Yep. All right. I am too. Hope you're ready out there, tribe. Let's nail this last set of pronate tricep kickbacks. Bent over on that 45 degree angle. Palms are facing forward. Elbows up. And begin. One, one, two, three. Repeat. And breathe. Again, if you need to adjust your weight, we encourage you to do so. Just keep moving. Keep grinding through here. Trying our best to maintain proper form. That's right. As well as controlling that whole descent. And that gets harder and harder as we're getting through it here. That's seven. Almost there. Fighting to the end. Don't stop when it hurts. We're gonna stop when we're done. Last one. Come on. One, two, three. Excellent, you made it. All right, next up we have a bicep only killer superset. So we're gonna be doing hammer curls next, a few different variations, using those two dumbbells yet again. We're gonna start with a full range of motion hammer curl. Palms are facing in, shoulders are back. We're gonna bring those dumbbells all the way up, all the way down for five repetitions. So keeping those elbows in all the way up to your shoulders and return back down for five. That's one. So not super slow, but also just keeping control, especially on that descent. We're not doing the three second descent on this one, but still maintain control. Here's number four. Five in total, one more of these. Excellent, keep breathing through it. And that's five. Now we're gonna go zero to 90 for five. So from the bottom until our lower arms are parallel to the floor and then back down, one. Halfway up, back down, two. Hitting those biceps from all different angles today. Three, four, excellent. And then this last one, five, hold it right there at top. Now we're gonna go 90 to 180, all the way up to halfway. Now you're starting to feel it. I am too. <laughs> Excellent. That's three, four, five. Now all the way down. Okay. Last five. Ooh. We're going full range of motion. One. No swinging. And then you'll get to set them down. Come on. Keep fighting tribe. Two, three, last two. Come on. Grind through it. Four and five. All right, set those dumbbells down, shake those arms out. We're gonna go through that one more time. I call that the ego buster. Oh, right, yeah, that's because true. Because if you're regretting the choice of weight that you chose, then it's probably a good right. sign that you need to reduce. I call it the, the sleeve weight. buster because I'm about to pop out of mine right now <laughs> after that one. Okay, let's do it one more time, everybody. Whew. Using those legs to pick up your dumbbells, as always. All right, now we're gonna start with five full range motion. Hammer curls, begin all the way up, all the way down. You wanna exhale as you are bringing those dumbbells up to your shoulder. That's it, so you're always exhaling on the hardest. easiest part. Oh, I'm sorry, exhaling on the hardest part, <laughs> inhaling on the hardest part, there we go. Here's number five. All right, all the way down, now zero to 90. Zero to 90, there it is, one, two. You Ooh. got it, come on. Three, four. Don't let those elbow, elbows flare. Now stop. Now 90 to 180. Might be the toughest part right here. Two, come on. This is tough, but you're tougher, Tribe. Let's see it right here. Come on. Through to the end. And five. Okay, right now right full range of motion. Last five. Come on, finish strong. We are right there with you. Try to eliminate that swing. I know it's hard for us too. Here's four. One more. Last one, you got it. And five. <laughs> Woo, shake them out. <laughs> Our next superset is a tricep tri-set. So we have three different exercises. We're moving to the floor and you do need your two dumbbells. So we're gonna start with a little dumbbell skull crusher variation a little bit different maybe than you're used to so lying down on our backs we're going to start by pressing both dumbbells straight up 
with your palms facing inward. And I want you to take your left arm and I want you to bend that elbow until it's at a 90 degree angle and then you're just gonna hold it there. Now with your right arm, we're gonna perform a tricep skull crusher all the way up, all the way down for 10 repetitions. That's two, three, trying your best to keep both elbows pointed up. Excellent, so that one dumbbell is just holding that static isometric hold while the other arm is going through the range of motion. Here's eight. And once we get to 10, we're gonna switch. One more. Excellent, now switch it up. So that means that right arm is gonna hold that ISO. And that left arm is gonna perform the full skull crusher, full tricep extension. Excellent job. There's four. It's gonna burn out those triceps, that back of your arm. Feeling it working on this one, that's for sure. There's eight. Almost there. Nine, last one. 10. Now both dumbbells up. I want you to press the ends together, hold them together. Now with your elbows in, lower those dumbbells, keeping your elbows in to get close, tight to your body, and then press up, close grip press for 10 repetitions. Elbows stay in, all the way up, all the way down. This one's mostly hitting the triceps, but you're also gonna get a little bit of chest and shoulders in this one. Control that lowering phase. Halfway. And press up, excellent job. This is movement number two of this tricep. Good, breathing in on the way down and then exhale. There's eight. As you press up. Last one right here. Good, okay, so we're gonna set these dumbbells down and we're gonna turn over into a push-up position uh, I'm gonna be on my feet for this variation. And I'm gonna be down on my knees. We're gonna do a negative close grip push-up. So I want your hands uh, in line with your chest and at shoulder width. So not out wide, but in line with your shoulders. Elbows stay in tight to your body. And we're gonna lower your body for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can uh, relax and come back up. So we're only doing the negative, doing that three times. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Relax, press yourself back up, reset. And again, one, two, three, four, five. Relax and back up. Okay, so that's one time through this tricep turning back over onto our backs with our dumbbells and back into that dumbbell skull crusher variation. And if that first set was too hard for you, then, then you know you need to reduce your weight. Yep, exactly. That's the great thing about strength training and using dumbbells is it's very easy to adjust it for your fitness level as you're going through. And good form should always rule. All right, so we're right back into it here. Let's get that left arm bent at a 90 degree angle and hold and begin with that right arm. All the way up, all the way down. 10 repetitions in total. Come on, you got it. Grinding through this one together, Tribe. Halfway. Do not hold your breath. Keep breathing. There's eight. Nine. And 10, okay, switch it up. <laughs> Come on, burn so good. We're right there with you, Tribe. You are not alone. We're in it with you. Thousands, Ooh. maybe millions of other HazFit Tribe members feeling that same burn you're feeling. We are in it together. Come on, almost there, almost there. There's eight. And Nine. last one. Oh, woo hoo wee. Burn so good. Okay, press those dumbbells together. Now moving into that close grip press. Elbows stay in tight to your body. Exhale. Back up. Good. Nice and controlled. And squeezing those dumbbells together at the same time. Keeping both ends of the dumbbells touching one another. Excellent job. 
Keep that, uh, those upper arms nice and tight to your body, elbows tight to your body. There's six. It's gonna make sure that we're engaging those triceps, not allowing our chest to take over. There's eight. Last two, come on. You got it, Hesper Tribe. Last one right here. Excellent job. Perfect. Okay, dumbbells to the side. Whew. Okay, let's turn over. Moving into those negative close grip push-ups. Gonna put that finisher on. You decide if you wanna be on your feet or if on your knees is more appropriate for you today. All right, let's do it and begin. One, two, three, four, five. Relax, back up again. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Back up. One more of these. Come on. You got to try it right last here. Last one. Right now. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent job. All right. Let's finish this workout with the burnout round. One movement for our biceps <laughs> and one for our triceps. We're going to start with a 90 degree biceps pulse. So grabbing our dumbbells, we're gonna have those palms up, good posture, shoulders are back. Let's bring those dumbbells to a 90 degree angle. And now we're gonna pulse 15 times. One, two, three, four, you got it, breathe. Little pulses. Again, at this point in the workout, this is the finishing move. 12, 13, 14, last one, 15. 15. So now we're gonna do basically the same kind of move, but for our triceps, I'm gonna use a little bit lighter weight for this one. Getting back into that bent over tricep kickback form, this time with our palms facing inward, extend at those elbows, and now 15 pulses here. One, two, three, four. Small range of motion. Again, just finishing off this muscle group. Breathe. Get those upper arms 13, up. 13, 14, last one. 15, Woo. okay. Back to the biceps. Come on, let's go, Tribe. Sprint into that finish line. Palms are up. 15 pulses again, let's go. One, two, three, four. Choosing a weight that's appropriate for you at this point of the workout. That weight can definitely change as you progress in fatigue. 13, 14, 15. Excellent, nice okay. Dumbbells are back up. You get an idea. Back into those tricep kickback pulses. 45 degree angle, upper arms are up. And pulse. Coach with Coach, I joked with Coach Kozak that I was gonna do these with body weight. Right. Only. At this point in time, maybe <laughs> not even any dumbbells needed. Come on. Pushing through it. Small range of motion. Five more. Almost there, almost there. Woo. Four and five. Ah, burn so good. Come on. Man. <sighs> one for you out there, tribe. <laughs> I'm gonna feel that one in about yeah. an hour. Woo. Woo. Thank you so much for working out with us and pushing yourself through that workout today. If you enjoyed today's workout, we'd ask that you please help support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. You can do so by downloading our free app. It's available for both iOS and Android. You can also stop by our store, pick up some HasFit gear, or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Please also don't forget to like us on your favorite social media network. Thank you again so much for working out with us today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.